Some people had an idea to use electrostatics in photography as early as the end of the 19th century. But the idea was not successfully put into action until the 1950s. Jester Carlson made a great contribution to it by developing and implementing electronic photography. He started the research in the 1930s. The process has its peculiarities. It combines chemical and electrical principle of image fixation on paper medium. Carlson used the microscope slide which was affected by electrostatic charge. Then he put the slide under bright incandescent light. The slide then was taken away and lycopodium powder was dispersed on the sulfur surface. One could use zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, sulfur powder, fine coal dust apart from lycopodium. Spray powder was cleared away. As a result, an ideal text copying form of powder remained on the surface. The printed copy is taken out of the device, slit and is cut by a knife. The first version of the device didn't find any support by large companies. Yet after battle, Memorial Institute offered its collaboration. The device was re-implemented into the patent documents copying. By January 1947, there had appeared the first copying machine that was initially called as an machine.